Hey, today we're gonna to talk about uh, propagating hops. And I'm gonna show you this a little bit more close up here in a minute, but behind me, I've got some of the hops that grow along the bottom of that arch right there. And hops literally, I mean, grow fully, fully way up there. And then also on, on uh, the buildings behind there, they, they end up going all the way over there. They can grow up to 25 feet uh, per year. Now, I did do a video on the four incredible reasons to grow hops, and so I recommend that you watch that. In fact, I'll, I'll, I'll link to it. Uh, but what I wanna show you today is how we propagate hops. Now, the first thing you need to know is that um, we propagate hops just for ourselves, okay? In general, I'm not saying that we'll never do this, but in general, we're not selling it or anything or, or trying to do anything commercially. It's for our own uses, and, and we, like, we like hops. And then, like I said, there's there's excellent reasons to grow them, but I'm going to show you today how we propagate them. So let's let's take a look at the area that they're growing first. Okay, so like I said, this is the uh, kind of the arch that that they grow up, and like I said, that little building over there, they'll end up all over that. And if we look a little closer, so right here is obviously hops plants, but if you can see behind it, this is this massive amount of of uh, old dead vines from last year and underneath this it guaranteed is a massive crown okay a massive root crown and what hops does is that it creates this crown and then and then you know large rhizomes will come out in all directions from it in fact i'll show you here in a minute how how we know that but if we look over here there's also uh you know another another big crown and there, if you look closely, you can see a lot of, again, of the old vines. And you can see, obviously, the hops are already growing up and getting, uh, you know, up to two to three feet. So we're, we're getting to the end of the season where I like to propagate these in this way. Uh, but I'll show you that. But if we look at the spreading nature of hops, and so you can see, for example, you know, those are hops that are coming up right here, you know, presumably from those crowns that are over there along that fence. And that's, you know, five feet away, but you can also see over here, they've spread out here, along here, all the way down over here. Okay, and in this area, we've got a lot of, you know, there's some burdock over there and there's strawberry and, and different things like that. And that's kind of, again, for the home grower, you know, this is, this is kind of how we do it. We got a lot of biodiversity, etc. So when we look at, for example, let's take a look here. So here's, here's a hop that's again growing off of this. And then um, if we look underneath it, let's see, right there. So check this out. This plant is coming off of this rhizome here. All right. So if we just take this and I'm just going to gently pull up on this. And let's see. Look at that. Okay, so we've got, you know, this is actually kind of cut off, but this is a whole new plant right here. So I could literally just take this plant and replant it, which I probably will do. Okay, so this is just kind of like, say, division. And here's some new hop plants here. That's last year's growth. And so I'll set that aside. Wasn't even expecting that, but there you go. There's, we just made a plant there. And let's take a look at some of the other pieces. So let's see what we can discover by digging around here a little bit. We want to be careful on how we dig. Not too careful. I'm not too worried about that. So again, we have some old growth here. And I like this hoary tool. It's very good. Uh, but So I've got this vine here, and I've, I can see some other shoots that are coming up right next to it. So let's, I'm going to dig under here a little bit and see what we can find. Okay, so I'm just going to... See if I can't discover a rhizome. And let's see. Sure enough, we're starting to get some of this. Let's kind of just dig it away so we can take a look. Yeah, look at that. I mean, that's that's one inch diameter right there. And nice worms. Uh, this whole area. That again. Probably get a, make a plant out of that. 
Okay, so again, I'll set that aside. And let's see here. I've also, I also carry around with me just this, a little cutter. And let's see. Yeah, I can, I, I've got a, a serious rhizome that's probably going to that root, that root crown over there. And I think what I'll do is I'll just look to cut right about here just as a good example. So again, I don't, we already have a lot of hops growing and I just want to make a couple more plants. So let me cut this off. Okay, let's take a look. So, let's see. All right, so we've got this rhizome. We've got a lot of root structures coming out. Obviously we have some nodules coming up. You know, like right here, that's a good one. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just pinch this off. Or, I, mean, I should say I'm gonna cut it off. Just so it's easier to handle. But there we go. This is a this is not a bad rhizome. I can cut that probably at least in two. And I'm gonna show you now what it looks like or what the kind of the, the final product looks like after you plant it and um, what it's like after say a year because I've got some examples of that as well. All right, so let me show you how uh, we're gonna set this up. First of all, like, so here's one example and uh, you can see the roots that are developing below. Those are excellent. And then also this shoot that's developing on top. And so what I'm gonna do is because it's so big, I'm actually gonna cut this down to about maybe four inches or so. And then this will get planted. I just take my knife. I want to make sure I, I leave some of those these feeder roots. Okay, so so then I end up with with that. And again, this side up, so that it, it can grow up. And then, so in this case, I'm just going to put this one here. I'll spread out the roots a little bit, and uh, I'm going to be planting it fairly deep. And so what I'm going to do here is just got my mix this is my my mix that I usually make my own or our own potting soil and so let me just cover this guy up it's at least two or three inches or so sometimes you know if you're planting just the rhizome itself I it might go as deep as six inches deep uh, but I'll show you that here in a minute okay so that's that's one, and then I always, I'll always i put some mulch on top of this, and that one's good to go. So let's take a look at this guy. So you have a pretty significant rhizome right there. I could break this up easily, break this up into at least two. In fact, so let me show you this. Hopefully the wind's not too bad on the audio. You can see these the shoots coming up here. I could take, cut this, plant that, probably get a plant. And same thing with right here. Okay, so you have all these feeder roots here. So what I'm probably gonna do is I'll probably cut this and make at least two to three out of this and then we'll plant it and see how it goes. There you go. This, this has got a really, really good shot of making a plant right there. With all these shoots coming up, another one here, another one there, and then I'll, quite, a, quite a few feeder roots coming down.
All right, and there you go. We've got a couple of uh, really good chances at, at propagating those hops via rhizome. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you um, uh, one we did last year and how it's doing right now. All right, so here's one from last year and I'll show you here. We did the same exact thing I just showed you with the, with the other pieces and planted it in here. In fact, um, this, this year I even divided this and I already basically took this end and, and uh, made other plants as well. So you can see these, these guys are doing really well. In fact, I have to I trim and, and just try and keep it to a handful of vines coming up instead of just dozens of them coming up. But there you go. That's an easy way to propagate hops.